Okay, in this video, I will show you guys two ways to find the derivative of the inverse hyperbolic sine x. For the first way, is that we need to know the inverse hyperbolic sine x. It's actually the same as ln of x plus square root of x squared plus 1. I did do a video on that, so if you haven't seen that video, be sure you guys watch that. So, I can just go ahead and differentiate the natural log, the ln right here, of x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And especially, we know how to do this much better, right? So here we go. To take the derivative of the ln function, we get 1 over whatever that is, right? So I will just put down 1 over the inside. It will be down below right here. x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And then the chain rule says we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside. So you see, we have two terms. Let's open the parentheses first. And the derivative of x is just 1. And we are going to add it with the derivative of the square root function. It's going to be 1 over 2 square root. And you bring the inside down here, which is x squared plus 1. And then the chain rule says again, we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. And this is only for the square root part. So I'll just multiply by the derivative of x squared plus 1. It's just 2x. So I'll put down 2x right here. And that's pretty much it. And the rest is just algebra, all right? So from here, we see the x, I mean, the 2 and 2 cancel. And we do have the x on the top. And perhaps we can combine the fractions here. So we'll do that. And we'll just multiply this by square root of x squared plus 1 down below and also on the top like that. And from here, we see this is 1 over x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And we multiply by, well, since they have the same denominator now, it will just be square root of x squared plus 1 right here. And this is just square root of x squared plus 1. And we plus x like that. And check this out. This is x plus square root of x squared plus 1. And this right here is just the reverse order, right? But the order of addition doesn't matter. So this factor can be canceled out with that factor. And in the end, we get 1 over that. So that's pretty much it. 1 over square root of x squared plus 1. And for this kind of form, in fact, we like to write the 1 inside first. So it will be square root of 1 plus x squared like this. And with that being said, this right here is it. And of course, it's no wrong to just put it like that. Anyway, let's talk about the second way to do this. You see, this is an inverse function. So one of the ways to get the derivative of the inverse function is to use implicit differentiation. So right here, I can say let y equals to that, namely the inverse hyperbolic sine x. And then from here, I'm going to take the original hyperbolic sign on both sides. Or well, the sinh, if you would like to call that. And from here, you see sinh and the inverse sinh, they cancel each other out. And then we just get sinh y being equal to x. And this approach should remind you that how we come up with this is equal to that, right? But I will just stop right here, and we are going to differentiate since y is equal to x by using implicit differentiation. And this is much more doable because we do know the derivative of the sinh. It's just positive cos, right? So that's why we want to take the original function on both sides like this. Anyway, to take the derivative of sinh, we get cos. And then the input stays the same for now. But you do the implicit differentiation. The derivative of y is dy dx. So I will just put that down. And this is exactly what we're trying to get. And the beauty is that on the right-hand side, <laughs> the derivative of x is just 1. And that's pretty much it. And of course, we can divide the cos y on both sides. So we see dy dx is equal to 1 over cos y, like this. So 
this is okay, but it's not that okay yet. Because originally everything was in terms of x. Now, it seems like the answer is in terms of y. So we're going to do some work to change this back to an expression in terms of x. And the way that we're going to do it is we'll be using an identity to make a connection between Cauch and Sinch. And the identity is if we square Cauch with the input y and then minus Sinch square with the same input y, this right here will give me 1. And you guys can check out my other video for more detailed explanation about this identity. And also we have to remember Cauch of whatever input. This right here, it has to be greater than or equal to 1. And one of the reasons why is, you can just refer back to the exponential definition. Cos y is equal to e to the y plus e to the negative y all over 2. And the minimum happens when y is equal to 0, and you get e to the 0 plus e to the negative 0. On the top, you pretty much get 1 plus 1, which is 2. And divided by 2, you get 1, and that's the minimum. So keep that in mind, and right here, I just have to isolate cos y. So let's see. We are just going to move this to the other side, so I get cos square y being 1 plus sin square y. And as usual, we will take the square root on both sides. And this and that will cancel. And technically, I shall put a plus minus, right? And you see right here, we have cos y equals to, well, because of this right here, we know cos y has to be bigger than or equal to 1. So I cannot have the negative right here. Therefore, I really need to get rid of this negative because of this right here. So cos y is pretty much the square root of 1 plus sin square y. And let me write it down like this. This is the same as saying sin y and you square that. And the reason I want to do that is because we see this is just square root of 1 plus. The inside, if you refer, since y is equal to x. So I just say that's x squared. That's pretty much it. So in the end, we know that the derivative is just 1 over cos y, which is 1 over this square root of 1 plus x squared. And that's pretty much it. And of course, we have the same answer from both ways. And you guys can leave a comment down below and let me know which way that you guys like better. So hopefully you guys all like this video and if you guys do, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And also I finally started to sell this t-shirt right here. So you guys can also check the link in the description. And if you guys purchase the t-shirt, thank you guys so much. You guys are helping my channel grow. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Anyway, this is it for this video and see you guys next time.